Ciao, Mora. Welcome back to my channel. So, I just woke up today. You can see I'm here with my bare face. Mm. I just woke up and I started to check what is really trending. And I chanced on this video. So, let me put this one off first. So, I chanced on this video of Bulldog's comment and the fact that women, I mean, women, <laughs> belongs to just the kitchen and the bedroom. But anyway, before I dive into the video and my reaction and my comments about, if you are new here, please, this is Bed Laughs Empire. Do well to subscribe, comment, share, and like. Let's keep up with the love. This is an interview given to him today. I mean, um, I think it was at 3FM. 3FM is, I mean, the registration of TV3. Let's watch the video. I would want to take him in. I want to address it word by word. All I do, my facial scrub. Yeah, that's wrong. Have a way. Chris, both, both of us the same, you know, on the same day, we would have created us on the same day. No, guys, wait. So, this man just said, <laughs> if God really wanted women and men to be at par, like to be on the same level, did you hear that? He wouldn't create us the same day because, men, I mean, we all know the story of creation. A man was created before. A woman then his ribs was taken to create me a woman which is eve but let's continue this is so lame i don't i don't know why he actually gave this comment you know we really want to know much about what he said hello but so who came here first uh, so that you become... no but then that's the most important thing women destroy stuff they I... mess up everything oh, yeah. are you serious oh, Charlie, women are just you know crazy but both, both of us the same you know on the same day we have created us on the same day. Uh, but you want to sleep and then they created the woman. But so who came here first? Uh, so that you become... No, but then that's the most important thing. Yeah. Women destroy stuff. They uh, mess up everything. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? Oh, Charlie. Women are just for... They, they should be for the kitchen and the bed. It's coming. Hold on. I'm saying this. They should go and cut my head. Oh. Or my wife can leave me if she wants to. Oh, your wife can divorce you. Women are meant for the kitchen and the bedroom. Shouldn't be sitting around men discussing important. No, before I even go to the fact that he actually made a comment saying uh, women are not supposed to sit at the table with men to discuss stuff and to make decisions. Let me just address from the fact that he actually said women. I mean, women belongs to the kitchen and the what the bedroom. My first question is. In this 21st century, we are all actually about training a, a sustainable world, okay? I'm a master student. I'm a master of law in sustainable development goals, where we talk about laws that actually brings about development. Okay, so we actually talk about the sustainability <coughs> of this world. So when you talk about goal 5 of the sustainable development goals, said there shouldn't be any gender inequality. And the goal 10 also discriminate like it takes us in this 21st century. Is it not too lame for someone to say that? Mm? I mean, the females that have actually given birth or the women that have actually given birth before. Who, who actually saw a child or I mean, a, a female baby coming with um, maybe cooking pots or a spatula? or any kitchen utensils and bed sheets, pillows. Yo, I've arrived at the, on this earth. I think this man is not serious. He said, and my wife can even divorce me or leave me. This man has no respect for his wife. Seriously, no offense to the wife or anything. I mean, if a woman, um, any man loves the wife, yeah? He, 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 he will be scared, let me put up this thing a bit. He will be scared to actually even lose the wife. Do you get it? And my wife can even leave me and you don't care. But it's not about the wife because I know the wife, I don't know the wife, but I know the wife is also a woman. And of course her place is not the kitchen and the bedroom. Let me even first of all give the definition of what sustainable development is. You know, we meeting the needs of like, I mean, the current generation without compromising 
the next generation. So if you are actually working towards attaining the sustainable development goals come 2030, such things are not supposed to be said. We are supposed to be educating both male and female. Me, I'm not biased. Seriously, the interest of women is really at heart. Like, whenever, I mean, I hear some stuff like this. It's just, it just like makes my blood balls. I'm a woman. Okay. I'm very capable. If, if you think you got married to me, that doesn't mean I'm currently pursuing my master's. Graduating very soon this year. And I still want to do my PhD. So would you say, I, I, with all this, I can't be called to a table. Comment on decision making. I think this Satan is very lame for him to say that. And for the fact that he has no respect for women. If I was to be the president of Ghana, if I was to be the minister of gender, I will just call him to, 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 to law. Because you know, there are laws that are actually stipulated. That this is this could be a verbal discrimination. It's not could be, it is. This is a verbal discrimination against women. It's high time the laws of Ghana and not just Ghana from the from domestic to national to international to even supranational has to work because there are laws starting from CEDAW, CEDAW to other international laws. Um the Eastern uh, conventions and all that it talks about non-discrimination against women. Okay, so you can't come and sit on the radio station because you've got you, you you've got a place and you just want to say women are meant for the kitchen and the bedroom. Let me even add some quotations on it. Since he was actually saying that yo, God created a man first, sorry. So for that reason, women are not even supposed to be at the table when making decisions. Now, let me read this. Second Kings 21, 13. So, Second Kings 21, 13. This is the word of the, I mean, from the Bible. I'm sure the Quran, if it's like, even the Quran, you can do. And he said, and I was stretched over, Jer over Jerusalem, the line of Samaria, and plummet of the house of Ahab. And I will wipe Jerusalem as a man wiped a dish, wiping it, and turning it upside down. Did you hear any woman? No, I know in the Bible, I mean the Old Testament, when they say mad, they actually refer it to both male and female. But why didn't he say only women? See, cooking is never meant for women. Me, if you know me very well, I love cooking a lot. I love cooking and I love studies. And I really want to add another quotation. That's Galatians 3.28. Guys, let's read that one too. And let's put this man to shame. He said, there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone should tell me to preach on. <laughs> so, if you were born first as a man and your ribs were taken to actually create a woman, that doesn't make you better than, a, than women anyway. I support both men and women. There are some women who are actually doing better than men. And this is very, very annoying for him to actually even make, make such a statement. Oh, let's continue. Listen, women, women, I'm not saying women are useless. I'm saying that they are... No, you can't even tell us that we are useless. The, 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 the mistake is that they start comparing themselves to men. Why women can't compare themselves to men? Why? What's wrong with women? Better than men. How? How? By what? On the job. Which job? On the field of jobs and the Where? 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 So, so mention one. Look at look at major companies and look at the CEOs. <laughs> this man. Oh, will be political? No one. His name is Blue Dog. To to soften the face. Or, or the, 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 the nature of the, of the if, company. If, if, if he wasn't right, I'm not sure anybody would want to put a woman there. Even no, no, it's just nice. It's just nice. It means that they add some glory. Oh, I'm not saying, yeah, and that's what you'll go for. It's not like you really, really will pay anything. Are you saying? <laughs> like, like, Look at that. Funeral, or they will go party, girl who dance, like, you know, nice, your boys, boys. You're better off than that. Look at that. You're just like an icing on the cake. You're not the cake. That's, that's probably... 
<laughs> guys and this man has the nerve to say that women we are like an icing on the cake we don't bring anything home i can boldly tell you when there are some women in some matrimonial homes they even provide for the home we are not actually i'm not actually here to actually uh, do comparison but i know most women are doing well and i'm one of them they are saying it's really bad when a woman is so independent and all that but like come on i am proud of any woman out there who is doing it and making it yo guys thumbs up yes. i'm proud of any woman who is well educated even all those if those who are not even educated still and they are doing it see without a, without we women yeah this world wouldn't have actually been in balance i'm telling you in ghana here we we actually they say something if you're educated man you educate an individual but if you educate a woman you educate the nation i'm not sure he reads to say to ask the interviewer should actually give him where he thinks women are doing better no way. Does this man wants to see me tell me he doesn't see the gifty auntie? Uh, we first have had even a, a whole speaker of parliament as a woman, uh, honorable Bamford Ado. And uh, we have more women into polit in politics. See, my auntie, my former um, deputy gender minister, honorable Rahel Manajo Apo, they are all doing well. Come to think of it. My mommy, women in churches, women in politics, women say women are everywhere. Never underestimate the power of a woman. This one here, <laughs> women will be ruling the world, and you will see how better the place will be. Some men like him, some men like him who do, who think women are meant for the kitchen and the bedroom must they they must be put in their place, and. He's one of them. No wonder his name is Bulldog. But to think of it, ending this video, guys, I just want any lady out there to know that if no one is proud of you, I'm actually proud of you. As we work towards a sustainable community with our sustainable development goals captured in some laws, in the European laws, some European laws, some supranational laws, some international laws, and some even domestic and national laws, and the Bible recognized as women. And warns you if you are married to a woman and you think her place is the kitchen. You will never enjoy marriage and neither will you enjoy her. I'm going to end this video with some reactions of friends. Watch love, pen love. Do well to subscribe, comment and share. Followed Bulldog for a while now, and then I've realized that most of the submissions he makes on almost every topic is shrouded by emotions and anger. Seriously, I think women are amazing people. That if the world had given women the chance centuries ago, the world would have been a better place than it is now. Since we gave women the chance to, you know, to explore, we've had women who are inventors. We've had women who have become world leaders and have changed the world significantly. They have imparted life so, 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 so well. So I think Bulldog's assertion that women should be confined to the kitchen is completely preposterous and we should we should treat it with the pinch of salt that it deserves. Yes, please. Bulldog's assertion that a woman's place is in the bedroom and the kitchen does not even what merit a discussion. We, we can all agree to the fact that if we educate a girl child, we educate an entire nation. In the same vein, I, want, I believe and there is proof to show that a woman who is gainfully employed empowers herself and the entire household. If we take a man who is gainfully employed, if we say the statistics, he usually supports himself and just a few others. But a woman supports herself and the entire household in meaningful, impactful ways. So. <laughs> <laughs> that whole, this whole argument is even a nonsense that is unnecessary. God. I guess I'm not the only person outraged by a bulldog's assertion on the value of women in our modern society. I actually cannot fathom how someone would have such a primitive thinking on the role of women and see the value of women to be limited in the bedroom and in the kitchen, for instance, in the bedroom to be offering crazy styles and that is their use, that is their value. 
for his kind i i don't even think we should attempt any sort of logical reasoning with him because he's proven to be an idiotic fool an incurable fool who wouldn't learn like this shouldn't even be happening we shouldn't even be having this discussion at this stage because we've grown past the stage we've grown past where women were seen to be sex objects and were seen to be in the kitchen i don't i i actually don't think he's like willing to learn he's just being misogynistic this is, this is common sense I'm a fan of Bulldog, but this comment he made is kind of a bit of like irrational. You know, anyone who has ever stood to question the ills of the society, especially the societal and the systematic handicapping of females, will know that uh, there's always been exceptional idiots, excuse my language, who would like to prove that they are indeed idiota extraordinaries. You know, these folks live by what grandma says, yen I am share in my local dialect, which goes like, do it and let me see philosophy. Such people ignore the basic common sense and clutch to idiocy as if uh, their lives depend on being the village idiot they've always been. For such a person, there's no need to even attempt any kind of like logical reasoning. Your life on earth is too short to waste on critics who are vying glorious of their initiatives. As you do with a petulant spoiled brat, you ignore their senseless discombobulated tantrums and irrational cries for attention because this is this is shyze this is niche this is niche normal because like allow them to challenge and compete with themselves for the ding back of the on like ding back of the universe award common sense is precious so do not waste it on incurable fools peace